All right, what we have here is a High Camp 4800. Uh, we also have a High Camp 7000, and I'm going to go over some of the features uh, with these packs, but I'm going to use a 4800 as, uh, as the sample. This has a uh, bottom sleeping bag compartment that's a U zipper. Uh, the, obviously, the idea behind that, a little bit easier entrance as far as you can just pull that down, and you can see our stuffing inside there, rather than the normal complete, you know, circumference type zipper. Uh, this also has basically uh, attachment points where you can attach our belt pouches to. So if you have the four here, this can attach four points of contact. Same thing up top, you got one, two, three, and four. You also have them on the sides here, so you can stick four belt pouches on uh, this pack, but when you don't need them with the, like the ultralight mentality that this caters to, you can pop them out just run the bag or you can attach them as each situation or each trip you take dictates. Uh, they, they also, this pack also has different common loops where you can attach the open-ended female buckles to and you just obviously run it through, hook it up, and you can attach our, uh, our lock and load type pot or our dock and lock type pockets as well. Now with the high camp bags, both the 7000 and the 4800, this does not come with a frame. These are made to hook onto our bikini frame or our hunting platform slash duplex frames, whatever you want to call them. Um, so you can, uh, you know, obviously if you wanted to, if you wanted to use this and, and check it, at, you know, at the airport, you can use this as your bag or whatever else without the frame on, put the frame in a duffel bag or inside of it, things like that. Um, this has basically just a standard flat top lid no pocket. It does have the common loops where you can stick like a 500 light mid long on top. So you could get a, you know, obviously a pocket by attaching it that way. Now again, this does have the different common loops. You can, these are our uh, K connectors right here. When the frame is attached, you can hook these K connectors back to the frame, but you can also hook them to the common loops as well. There's not really a right or wrong way when you're attaching this bag to the frame as far as the horizontal connection points. It's just what works for you at that time. Now obviously everything's pretty much standard when there's not an animal inside the bag or between the bag and the frame. But when you do get to a point, you can crisscross these. That's kind of the glory of the K connectors. However it needs be if you're going around horns or whatever else. Uh, the only other thing I would say when you think about this bag is, is like extremely minimalist. No sleeping bag divider, no water bottle pocket. We made this as light as we can get it with the idea you can set it up with our belt pouches, our dock and lock pockets for what you need for that trip. So that's the High Camp 4800. What I have here, this is Mandrake uh, Camouflage from Cryptic. And then also the 7000 has the exact same features and options, just a bigger bag.